Hello there, so today we're going to talk about dmenu. It's going to be pretty quick, and I'm going to show you how to write your own script that you can launch with dmenu. But uh, what is dmenu? dmenu is an application launcher for Linux made by the Suckless guys, so it's meant to be pretty minimalist. And um, basically, so I'm going to launch dmenu. Here it is, and I can type in uh, whatever application I want to launch, such as OBS or my browser, Brave, and I can push enter and launch it. It also has this sort of autocomplete stuff, okay, where it will guess what you want. Now, uh, that's all very cool. Uh, I believe I can also launch it here, should be able to. Um, but that's not a great way to launch it. Yeah, it's not really doing uh, what you would expect here. Um, TLDR D menu. Let's see if there's anything written here. Dynamic menu creates a menu from a text input with each item on a line. Display a menu of the output of the ls command. So there's some nifty things you can do, but this is not what you would normally use D menu for. Um, if I look in my configuration for my window manager, which is i3, I'll go in here and I'll look for D menu and um, so I've got this, let me make sure, yeah, this is a line here, I'm using mod D that will execute, oh, it's D menu run, okay, maybe that's why it didn't run, D menu run, and there it is, okay, so, and I push escape and I exit there, so that's pretty straightforward, well, I can also use this uh, to run little scripts, so, what is it, user local uh, binary, so here is where you might put scripts. Normally this is in your path. Uh, it should be, let's see here. I've got a bunch of scripts in here. Some of them I don't use. Um, I wanna look at this screenshot one. This is something you might wanna do. And um, okay, so I've got the shebang here telling it to use bash. Uh, these two lines are commented out, they don't matter. All I do is I run scrot which is what I use to take a screenshot, and then I'm using MPV um, to, uh, this is just a sound of a screenshot that I downloaded from the internet. Um, so it plays, so it makes a sound. I don't know if you can hear it right now. The volume's off. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, I just took a screen, two screenshots. So it makes a little sound and that's it. You know what, I'm gonna try adding uh, this so I think, or you know what, um, yeah, I don't know, the, sometimes there's some kind of bug where sometimes this repeats. Oh yeah, because I have MPV, um, normally it was looping. See before, like this line expands your aliases, and I had that in there before, and it um, normally I, I have an alias that makes MPV loop, so it was looping this stuff. Anyway, I, I think that's fixed, and I, th I think I don't need that. Should be fine. Uh, don't worry about these two lines don't matter. And so a very simple little script that I have. And you know, I can run that uh, right here from D menu, which is quite nice. Took a screenshot. Of course I can also, um, let's see in here, screenshot somewhere in my i3 config. So I can do that here too. As long as that, um, as long as this is in my path, Okay, which it is. Uh, if I echo path, uh, in here is my, let's see, um, slash, where is it? Slash USR slash bin. No, that's not it. That's oh, the first one. USR slash, oh no, the second one. US, USR local bin. Um, so if you don't have that in your path, you can look how to add it. I think it's there by default. And that's it. I've got um, two little ways to watch or to um, use this nice little script that I wrote myself, either through dmenu or through my window manager. That's it. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, have a good one. Goodbye.